Hello friends, so today we're gonna continue the series I'm working on on the binary search playlist. You can check out my channel. I have already posted three easy problems and five medium problems. And now we're gonna discuss some hard problems also on binary search. So this is the first hard problem name swimming in rising water. So you are actually given an n cross n grid uh, like is a square grid in which the grid ij represent the elevation at that point ij. So like you are given some height as you can assume. Now like rain starts to fall in that grid. Now at time t the depth of the water everywhere is t. So as you can assume that uh, like everywhere that like the depth of the water is t and thus you can swim. So now you can only swim. So like you can assume that okay. Uh, let's assume that you have some grid. And assume that you have some like some hill at this point which is of like uh, length 3 there is some grid here of length or like uh, a tower of like uh, length 5 and a tower of length 3 again here okay now let's assume that you are at this point okay and if you want to let's assume go you want to go right and water is rising here so like this is on the top view let's see from the uh, like from the like side view so as you can see it is like this as you can see it is of elevation 3 this is elevation 5 this is elevation 3 now initially there is no water so now you because see if there is no water you cannot do anything like you are on the ground okay now after one hour let's assume there is some water here so now you can swim okay but still you cannot go to, to this point so now again after one hour there is some water and after three hours there is some water till now till this position so now like because you are in the water you can go to this point like you can sit on this point but still you cannot go to this point because there is a building or like a elevation of this at this point which is of like length 5 so you cannot jump over this building so you have to again wait for two hours so that after two hours this water will be at this position so now you can easily swim over this boundary and go to this point like before this you cannot go here so i hope you get the point this is the top view this is the side view how we are like how we can go from any point to any point so which means that if we are on any point so like there is actually a grid okay i'll just draw it out okay and you are at the starting point at this position and you want to reach at this position now you can like swim as you can see like you can swim in this way and you have to reach this point now if you take some path you can only swim through this whole path when the maximum of any elevation like the water till now is such that the maximum of this elevation is covered i hope you get my point because see if this is like if i choose this path and the elevation at this point is 10 and the elevation at this point is 30 and if you take time is equal to 10 hours let's assume so after 10 hours only water till now like it is at 10 level so like you can pass out this level this level this level this level 10 because 10 is like this is less than equal to 10 that's why you can swim over this like wall but because this is 13 you cannot swim over this wall because you are taking this path i'm talking about this particular path okay but now if like the time is equal to 13 then like you can like cross over this uh, like wall and then you can keep on continuing uh, given that no other wall till now is uh, like is greater than equal to 30 so you are actually given the grid and you have to start from the left like top left which is 0 comma 0 and you have to like reach the bottom right and you have to tell after which time you can reach there so you have to find out that whether there is some path from top till to, the, to this point such that after which time you can reach here so the thing here is we have to ensure that the path we take from the starting till this point uh, it should like the path should should form as soon as possible or as early as possible because uh, like at like let's assume that e at time equal to uh, 5 second okay this path emerges out let's assume a path emerges out from the starting to this point such that the all the elevations in this path is less than equal to 5 then at time equal to 10 this path is valid also again valid because if you are at time equal to 10 then also you can choose this path because all the elevations are less than like less than equal to 5 then at time equal to 10 also you can choose this path 
so as you can see it is a just a monitoring function because at a given time before this like time you cannot reach the last point but after a certain time period whatever time goes on like you will reach that like end so you have to just find out what is that time period so like as you can see you can easily observe that this is a monitoring function so for monitoring function you just do a binary search take so what you can easily do here is you have to just do a run a dfs from the starting till the end so such that you assume that you binary search over all the values which means that if i assume that i take my time equal to let's assume 10 if i do a binary search and find out that my time goes 10 then i'll try to find out a possible path like i assume that my mid value is 10 so i have to find out a possible path such that a path must emerge out such that i can reach from the starting to the end like the end point given this time if i can find out a possible path from the starting till the end in less than or equal to 10 seconds then this path is fine then what i will do i will make my right pointer equal to mid if even at time like time equal to mid i cannot find out a path from the top like the top left to the bottom right then i will make my left equal to mid plus one which is the standard i have been doing in most of the problems you can check out my previous videos also so that's the whole logic we will just run a dfs how we will run a dfs we will make a visited array start from the first and uh, like from the first we will check that we will only go to the left down top and like uh, left and right whenever if the next like point is in the grid and also it should be less than this value then only i can cross this so i will mark all the points starting from this point in which i can reach or like which i can go and swim such that from the starting point i can reach that point given that all of the heights should be less than this and i can go to the point that point if this point last point emerges out in that dfs then the mid value or the we have to find out the minimum possible value so that's the whole logic for this problem i'll take on to the code part now so the code is also very simple take the value for l equal to zero and also as you can see uh, n is up to 50 so, or like uh, and the grid value so as you can see the maximum time i will take is the maximum value in the grid okay because if the maximum value of the grid is reached then i can reach any point so the maximum value in the grid is up to n into n square or n into n minus 1 so n is up to 50 so i add 15 to 50 then n is equal to grid uh, like i find other di like dimensions of grid and also make this global so what i'll do for while from l less than r find out the mid value so what i'll do for every possible mid value I will make a new visited vector as you can see I will initialize a new visited vector and then run this ok function with mid being the time starting index is 0, 0 and also send the grid else uh, like after running out this ok function my uh, like vector will be or like visited vector or like array sorry sorry this matrix is populated after running this ok function after populating this matrix I have to check that the last like last value of this visit, visited matrix n minus 1 m minus 1 if is it like if it is visited which means that if it is visited then it is fine i will make my right equal to mid else if it is not visited i will make my left equal to mid plus 1 so how i'm just doing this okay function take the input of mid x y is the starting coordinate uh, like in this and uh, this is vector of grid i will check that if this x y is not visited and also if this grid x y is less than equal to mid then only i will make this visited and i will run the dfs again on its left like if the left as you can see if left is inbound then i will again run this ok function on the left pointer or like like left value and then the right value and the like top value and the bottom value and just find out like the dfs value for all this and just this will populate this vector so that what are the given points i can reach if i start from the top point and then i will find out the and this l is the find uh, like the smallest value uh, which is the smallest time after which i can reach out or the path emerges from the top left to the bottom right i hope you get the gist of this problem also and the code itself if you still have any doubts mentioned now more videos are coming soon so stay tuned i'll see you in the next one keep coding bye